You are now watching a Lucky Penny Shop product feature. Hey, it's Lucky Penny Shop. Time to check out a vintage game called Cat's Eye. Now, I've had this on my radar for quite a while. Never found one in the box like this. I've seen pieces and parts. Uh, this one uh, is missing the marbles, uh, all the colors like most of these are. But I have some backup marbles. We'll see what we can do there. It says, a color coordination skill game for the entire family, ages 4 to adult. Game number 5272. Complete your cat with the correct color marbles. First one to finish with the cat's eye wins. No batteries required. All right, now this was uh, five bucks at an, uh, looks, that looks like a thrift store type of tag on there. All right, so it says cat's eye there. Here is like a little drawing of the game. Let's see if we can read what it says here. Push the cat's paw to get the marbles. Return wrong colors to the hopper. First player to fill tray and get cat's eye wins. This is a Lewis Marks and Company toy. All right, I think that's really it. Not much there. Uh, oh, a little bit different graphic here. Kind of repeats what it says on the other side, but this is actually color pictures. First player to fill tray and get cat's eye wins. So that's what we're trying to do. Now, I don't know, uh, like I said, thrift store. Found it just like this. Actually, I didn't find it. Mrs. LPS found it. And anytime she sees something like, she grabs it. Do you have this one? No, I don't. Okay, well, let's give it a shot. That's a pretty big, heavy game piece with the marbles in there. And it's very dirty. I wonder if we should clean this. I haven't done any cleaning videos in a very long time. All right, so then we got four trays, the instructions, and then these marbles. So it looks like somebody just put in Wherever the thrift store was, green gems. I don't know. Put in a bunch of marbles that don't look like they match what we're supposed to have. Okay, so I'm going to have to come up with a plan with the marbles. But the overall game is dirty. So let me get set to actually do some cleaning. That's it in the box. So let's do a little clean so we can make it look a little nicer. Okay, so if you see, there are spots all over the yellow one. That's the one that's the worst. Let's just get a little spread there. Let's see if we get can at least get that off of the game board. Yes, it is. Okay, nice. So you see the dirt that's on that already? Dirt and dust. Now, one could say, well, why don't you do that before you start the video? Well, one, we can hang out together a little longer. Two, some people don't know what to use when they clean stuff like this. You have to use certain things for certain plastics and certain age and stuff. Right now, I'm just using straight old Windex, which works great on plastic. You can use like uh, vinegar and water, all the standard non-chemicals. And actually, I have a jar of that somewhere. It's just not nearby. And that works well too. Okay, look at that. That one's nice and clean. Oh, no, it's not. This corner. There we go. And the blue, the blue doesn't look too bad. I'll just give that one a quick, quick wipe. We'll give it a spritz and a wipe. So basically, the marbles need to fill the little holes, the divots that are on the cats. That one's dirty, but not as dirty. Okay. Well, that was the first board. That was the second board. You can kind of see this is the third one. There's a crusty in there. Got to dig the nail in that little crusty corner. So 
So would you go through these lengths and buy old games? Do you buy old games? How many of you actually buy old games? If so, what do you look for? What kind of games do you like? There's a lot of games I pass on. I pass on most like military games, uh, card type games. Uh, those aren't the kind of games I'm looking for. These kinds of games. Lots of color. Uh, just kind of interesting gameplay. Unique gameplay. I usually stay away from like the war games and anything that's kind of like uh, witchcrafty or any of that kind of stuff. Don't want that. I guess horror, any horror games, I don't collect those. There's a few I have in my collection. But it's not something I really gravitate towards. I like the colorful fun games. Okay, so that's all four. Now look how dirty that all was. See all that dirt that was on there? Okay, so those stack nice and are done. Let's see this. This is dirty for sure. Let's get a clean paper towel. Now around the decals you have to be careful. So I will bypass that. I'll go around them. This is just a quick cleaning. If I really wanted to mint this out I would probably get some Q-tips and other cleaning supplies out. Okay. I'm not going to spray directly on this piece just because of the, the decals. There is, it's dirty on the inside, but I'm just going to leave that for now. There's a screw in there, so it looks like you can take that center section out completely. Let's get that marble out of there. Oh, let's look at the bottom over here. Okay, so you're actually pushing these in. Marbles are dropping, and you're trying to get your color, right? While we're down here. It's got these little, it looks like rubber feet that are now hard plastic feet. That's not bad. I'm just going to give that a quick dusting. Now will this mark here come out? What is that? Yeah, it did. a lot better. So I'm guessing these are the trays you put your colored marbles in. And these little things look to be spring activated so the spring somewhere in there can't see it the way it's designed. Okay, I think that's good for now. There we go. Happy with that. Let's look at the instructions really quick. It's like a newspaper sheet. All right, instructions. To make your job easier, read each numbered instruction in order and follow the picture of the same number. Lay out all the parts before we begin. If you have any questions regarding this product, please write the Consumer Service Department at Marks, Gerard, Pennsylvania, 16417. Hopper game base, cat playing trays, red, yellow, green, and blue, bags of marbles, red, yellow, green, and blue, and black. Label sheet. Hopper label. Someone put those in. Bend hopper label and sheet slightly. Peel off the pressure sensitive labels one at a time and press them into position. An impressed area at top of hopper is shown. Okay, so whoever did this, here's the impressed area right here. It looks like they didn't put the stickers in the right spot. There's the impressed area. So unless there was four impressed areas, which I'm not feeling right now, they didn't put the stickers in the right spot. Yeah, there's nothing on the back. Okay, Cat's Eye is a game. Okay, so everything here, we call these the marble recesses on the tray. Those are the marble recesses. Cat's Eye, which is right there. I wonder if you gotta get the black in the cat's eye. These are called catch trays. This is the cat's paw right here. Hopper base. 
the hopper, and you place marbles in the open. Cat's Eye is a game of skill and chance that can be played play, can be played by two to four people. The object of the game is to fill the 13 marble recesses and trays with matching color marbles, placing one black marble last for the cat's eye. All marbles must be placed in hopper before a game starts, regardless of the number of players. Oh, so all of them go in, regardless of the number of players. To begin play, each player selects the cat tray of his choice. One person is chosen to say go to start the game. All players push marble release paws as rapidly as possible to allow one or more marbles to flow into each track. Each player selects the marbles that match the color of their tray and places them in tr- places them in tray recesses. All marbles which do not match must be returned into hopper. This action continues until a player has filled his tray with colored marbles. Last, the prized black marble is placed for the cat's eye. The first player to completely fill his tray declares cat's eye and is the winner. Before starting the next game, stir the marbles in the hopper. Okay, remember, all players play at one time, no turn-taking. All marbles that are not your color must be returned to Hopper immediately. Any player found holding marbles that do not match his trace automatically disqualified DQ. Game must stop if marbles fall to floor, allowing time to return marbles to Hopper. The black cat's eye marble can only be used after your tray is filled with all the necessary marbles. The black marble must return to the Hopper if your tray is not full, except for the cat's eye. All right, let me uh, reset my camera up here. I'm going to go from top down, and then we'll start checking out what marbles we have. I need to get at least, what, 13 of each color and four colors. Let's see what we can do. All right, I am back, so you can kind of see how this should be set up. I have my cats facing the player, and overall, this is from here to here is about 30 inches. So I need to figure out the colors of the marbles. Now, I was looking at the marbles in the bags, and some of these are like a light plastic. I think those are original to the game. I was doing some quick research online and I was starting to find some colors. Uh, some some uh, eBay listings and the colors kind of match the game boards and they're colored marbles like that. So I think most of them are missing. So I'm just going to have to fill in the colors the best I can and then I was wondering all right is there supposed to be four black marbles so I found a, a listing that was original in the box complete and uh, yes there's supposed to be four cat's eyes let's see what we have here. now the instructions right here said there was 13 marble recesses and trays with matching color marbles placing one black marble last for the cat size so is that 14 total we shall see I will count them once this is done here okay so I need one more yellow let me go to this other bag okay so that's one of the original yellows and someone wrote their initials on their yellow marbles okay so this one's complete this is two four six eight ten twelve 13, the unlucky number for the black cat's eye, right? Maybe that's why they did it that way. Okay, and then I need one, a few more blues to complete the blues. Okay, one more blue. And once I get this set, then I'm just going to leave these marbles like that, so I need a black. I might have to go to my extra bag of marbles. Oh, there we go. That's dark enough. I'll put that there. So let's move this. And then I don't have any red marble, so I'm going to use orange for this tray. good some of the originals are still there some are not now the originals are smaller marbles so I'm guessing you cannot use larger marbles in this okay so that one is done let's move the green over here anytime you buy a game like this from a thrift store or an estate sale 
you try to do it as you're buying it, you know, to make sure all the pieces are there because it takes a while sometimes to find all the right pieces. Like I looked on eBay for these marbles and there are no complete sets. So it would take a while to complete and get all of them. Okay, I think that's good. Now here is like an oversized marble and this will not, looks like it will definitely not fit. Even a larger marble like that, it might fit. So you want a little smaller. Oh, I need one more eye. There's no more black ones than that. I gotta resort to my extra bag. This bag was just one that I had off to the side knowing that I'd be doing cat's eye. There we go. That one looks really black. Okay, I think that's good. It's a little smaller. All right. Okay, now that I know everything is here, we know how many marbles are in each one. I'm gonna dump them all in. All right? Let's see. Okay, now it did say, no matter how many people are playing, always put all the marbles in. Right? All marbles must be placed in Hopper before the game is started, regardless of the number of players. All right, so. I'll show you inside so you can kind of get an idea how this is working in here. And I guess you kind of just want to mix them up. All right, now, well, I'll tell you what, let me reset the camera so you can see inside. It'll we'll at least give me uh, some playing here to kind of figure it out, and then I'll have to bring in someone else to play the game with me. All right, that's a pretty good top down view. My tripod is pretty much maxed out. Okay, all players play at one time. No time. Okay, all players push marble release pause as rapidly as possible to allow one or more marbles to flow into each track. Each player selects some marbles that match the color of his tray and places them in tray recesses. All right, so let me just test it. Okay, right away. Green. All right, so that's good. So you could do... Okay, so there's four. So I'll take the one that I want. Now remember, you cannot hide them or uh, keep a color that is not yours in any way. That's not right. And you also, if I remember correctly, the cat's eye is the last. So if you get a cat's eye, you gotta put it back in until it's your last marble. Let's just see. Okay, so I guess you could do two-handed. There you go. I would keep putting these back until I collect all of the greens. Now you could just go like that and try to be consistent. Now everybody's doing it at the same time, so they might get the green that I just got because I'm just testing this alone, right? But I think you get the idea. Well, let me give you one really close-up shot now because I probably won't be able to do it later if I'm playing the game. So let's just see. So Yeah, so basically what's happening is the pressure, there's like a pressure plate to get the marbles to knock out when you push this, it's spring loaded. Now that one is much smoother than that one. Let's just see if we can. I wonder if it's just the way the marbles are, are in there. Yeah, those are really loud too. So definitely not a game you want to play at night when everybody's sleeping. Let's just see. This one's the smoothest one. You see what's going on there? Is the marbles moving in the position? And there's a lot of action going on. Alright, I'll tell you what. You've seen me now kind of mess around with it. Let me bring uh let me bring some challengers in. At least one for sure, so I can do a two-person game. I'll put all these back in. I'll have to explain the rules to them. And I will be back after I'm done cleaning this all up. 
guess I could just turn this. And these are supposed to be like storage trays before you begin the game. Got all your colors there. It might be better too to just put one black marble in. That might make it more of a challenge when it gets down to the end. So that you're fighting for that last one. Well, we'll see. All right, I am back, ready to play Cat's Eye. Guess who I found wandering through the house? It's... Audrey. Audrey. And just for a little nostalgia, Audrey, let's see those nails real Why, quick. Why, sure. Oh, you just did white this time. Just white. No decorations? No, not this time. All right, so this is called Cat's Eye. Okay. The goal is to fill your tray with right. the blue-colored marbles, and you must end up with the last marble being the Cat's Eye. Okay. That's the black one. So if you get, let's just do for example, orange, you have to put it back, okay? Mm -hmm. If you get the, oh, if I get the green, then I can fill up my tray. And then I keep going like this, all right? If I get a yellow, I have to put it back. There's no hiding colors just to make someone else the loser. Okay. And then the last marble has to be the black marble. There's four eyeballs in the little cat's eye uh, area there, okay? Okay. All right, so now I've thought Simple of a couple enough. things. You can do it one-handed like this and then grab with this hand and kind of pull. Or you can just release one at a time and just kind of go like that. All right, so you dispense right? them and then you want to see if it's you your could color dispense, and then if yeah. it's not, you throw it back. But if it is... You can do four at a time if you want to go quicker. All right? Okay. So choose your method. Let me bring this in a little closer and tighter here and then we will... Say go. All right, so the rules are now. Someone has to say go. We will call, let's see. Mm -hmm. To begin play, each player selects a cat tray of his or her choice. Okay, I choose a blue. One person is chosen to say go, and then you start the game. All right. Are you ready? I'm ready. You can do the honors. Okay, I will say, wait, what's that over there? Squirrel, go! What? <laughs> uh, off to a dirty start. That's the game. Yes, I got two already. Of Cat's Eye. Two, three. I got four already. So if I get the black marble, gotta I Gotta put it back. Put it back. The last marble you draw. Oh, look at that. I want to roll. Let's try this method. Okay. Yeah, look at me go. Ooh. One at a time. Off the territory. Oh my gosh. I'm on the roll. Oh. Oh, get that one, get that one. It's gonna go off the table. I only need that color anyway. Black. Hey, can I have that green? I keep getting the black. Ooh, green. Uh, green. Oh, that's yellow, I think. I haven't seen a single black one yet, so. I've got two. Ooh, there's one. Oh, maybe I have. There's two now. I just need two more. Of course, I just need one more. Your cat? What is, I haven't even looked at your tray. That's all you saw. Yep. Look at how fast I'm going. Cat's eye. Meow. Meow. Oh, I got uh, it. I just need a black. Blue. I just need a black oh, I one. I got one. Ha! Ah. No! Meow! Oh. Cat's eye. Winner. You see how that game is played? That's a fun one. Pretty frantic, probably with yeah. four people, huh? I like how fast paced it is. It's yeah. exciting. Go! Oh, look at that. First try. Whoa! Uh, we got lucky. four already. Oh my goodness, where do we go? <laughs> you can't do the cat's eye till the end. Oh, I just threw Why? an orange away. It's gotta be the last one. Come on now, that's oh. cheating. I didn't know that. I said it. Yeah, I threw away my own color. <laughs> I know. It's got to recognize. Yeah. Color recognition. Okay, I've got... Oh, two, two more. Hey, this is not fair. Where's all the orange? <laughs> I have no idea. I got a couple. There. Oh, I just threw another orange away. More yellow and blue. Catching up. Ooh, the black. I feel like there aren't any green left at all. This could take a while. Yeah. <laughs> I 
Did you just get an orange? I got an orange, yeah. Ooh, another orange. I would have been close to you because I had, oh, another orange. Another orange. Down to two. Oh, so am I. Oh, shoot. I got a black. Is there only one black in the whole mm -hmm. thing? That's the game. That's the, the oh, cat. I'm nervous yeah. now. How'd you catch up to me so fast? My good luck ran out. Oh boy, oh, one no. more orange. <laughs> Let's stop there. I want to move the camera to the center so they see what colors are in there. Okay, you ready? Yep. Set, go. Now they can see what's going on in the center. Ooh, that's a green. green. I should have held it. That's oh, I cheating. Got it. Okay. Now you got to get the black. Oh. oh. Where's the orange? The black again. Come on! This is not fair. Are there even Wait. orange in there? I'm getting confused. The black is hiding up top. They're coming out slower now that there's left. Yeah, I know. My orange are stuck somewhere in there. The, I see the black. It's stuck. Um, I'm trying to stuck it. Yeah, you almost have to give it a shoot to see. The black is still stuck. Oh, that's it. <laughs> I just did five. Mine's got all yellow. Because there's all those that's what the colors are love. Only ah, the, I got it. Wait, wait a minute. How'd you get that? There better be one more orange in here. Yeah, there is one more orange. Oh, man. Oof. Okay, so that is what we call a winner. A winner, winner. Green cat. Chicken dinner, right? Right, well, thanks for playing. Thanks for beating me. That was own, fun. In my own video. Uh, I'm going to wrap it up, so I'll catch you later. All right. All right. So that is the game of Cat's Eye. And there's a uh, game must stop if marbles fall to floor. We didn't actually stop, but uh, the black Cat's Eye marble can be only used after your trays fill. All right. So you must keep returning them. So we played it uh, to the rules and specifications, but I was wondering if you only put one black marble in there, will that make the game... Definitely make the game harder to end. That should be at four people. Can you see inside there? Was that a good view of everything going on? Hopefully you saw. So now I would just return these all back, mix it up a little bit, and start another game of Cat's Eye. And thanks for watching, everybody. Hope you enjoyed the video. I had fun making it. Sadly, I had to beat Audrey in that one, but, you know, the next game she'll probably beat me. Once she gets the hang of it. And thanks for watching, everybody. Later! If you're looking for the item you just saw in the video, click here. Watch more videos by clicking here. Don't forget to share on social media and give a thumbs up. Hey, LPS Dave. What's up, Butch? Make sure they don't forget to subscribe. Oh, yeah. Please click here to subscribe to Lucky Penny Shop. And always remember when you see a lucky penny, pick it up.